maybe i started the recording yes. and uh, today we will be learning about locators in selenium now what is locators locators is kind of uh, using which you locate the element what is element anything on a website is an element meet be link check boxes radio buttons any pop up any anything yeah. is a on a website is a look uh, element and on that element you will be doing some action for example suppose this is okay button on this okay button you will be doing the action of click yeah. similarly this is input field in this you will be typing so typing is an action but then where you want to type that is a web element and to find that web element to do because further uh, you're going to do action on that right to find yeah. that element you need locators yeah. so in selenium we have different type of locators okay and to find the locators or to find any details about any and you have to consider it as a as a home okay let's see suppose to, there is one delivery agent who wants to deliver some parcel to this element okay so you have to you should know what is the address of this element so let's see yeah. If I right click on this and if I inspect it, okay, always wherever, wherever you want, you can right click and inspect. The moment you inspect it, you will get this window open. So let me do one thing. Let me make it left side. Hmm. Okay. So this is how it looks like. This is DOM, document object model. Yeah. Okay. Now. Mm, under this you will get details about your element for example if you have um mm, okay let me select any element suppose this icon account icon okay okay this is kind of tough let's scroll down let's go for this checkbox huh this one is good one see this for this checkbox, if you want to go and click on it, you have so many details about this checkbox. Like, for example, your house. Your house can be of pink color. Your house can have two cars in front of it. Your house can have one tree in front of it, mango tree. So these are all attributes of your house. If so, if some to someone, if you explain your address, you will say, okay, go to this area. In this area, there is one house. That house is of pink color. That house should have two cars in front of it and that is my house that is one way of explaining that where your house is and which one is your house so in the same way you need multiple attributes to explain yeah. the, or create the address of any element okay now many time your attributes will be very uh, unique for example if you just scroll down i don't know which element is okay input element this input element is taking give me a minute Hmm. Okay, I think this is this one, this checkbox. If you yeah. see, uh, for this checkbox, person with disability concession, uh, you are having ID. Okay, ID is something which is unique. Okay, the, the way developer created it, there cannot be any other element with the same ID. For example, I feel tar. Or for example, President House. That is that is unique. I mean, like you don't have to tell someone how to go to President House. Just by yeah. telling that go to Eiffel Tower, people will understand where it is. Okay, in the same way, because they they cannot be any other Eiffel Tower. There is only one Eiffel Tower. So, in the same way, ID is kind of unique. You can use ID as address. You can say, okay, go to this. This is bungalow. If that bungalow is famous, you don't have to give extra details about it. That is a unique bungalow. Okay. Yeah. But if your house is not that famous, you have to write the entire address that, okay, this, this, this area, this state, this city, and then this area, this garden, and then this house. Okay. So if you create the entire address for locating any element, that is called as XPath. Again, it's a locator only. Using that, you are locating your um, house only. But then it's a complete address, and that's why it's a XPath. Otherwise, you can use these attributes also. To find your element okay okay now so, hmm. so you in the code you uh, it's showing name id those are attributes, in the dog. attributes for the person with disability concession exactly so see if you see this this is the entire thing checkbox and the label so checkbox is this and label is this 
so for label if you want to if you are not concerned about checkbox you only concerned about what is written in the label you will go for these details otherwise you will go for these details okay so we use uh, for every every checkbox or every button we use the labels these ones no that no, depends no, no. these attributes that depends now see if i click on this button and i take it on search bar it is a button this button is yeah. of type submit this button has a label of find trains yeah. okay and class so every element will have different attributes it is not yeah. a conclusion that every time it will be label only it can be anything else also yeah okay but yes for every element you will have one set of details using which you will create a address of it okay so that's the code written in the back end. Yeah, that's a code written by the developer. We can't change it and it does not get changed unless developer will do some changes. Yeah. Okay. So now, oh, one second. So yeah, so now if you are, um, um, what I was saying. Yeah, if you have unique details, you don't have to create the entire address. But if you don't have unique address you have you have to learn how to create a address right yeah. the way we write state first and then city and then we travel backward right sorry we first write plot number then survey number and then 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 state and yeah. then correct city, state. This, exactly so in the same way if you have to write an address of this element there are some rules okay now let's see how to write a rule so how i open this window there are two ways guys okay if you are on a windows laptop right click inspect anyway right click on this website and inspect this will open or the another way is press f12 for me f12 does not work because i am on mac but um, like windows for windows people f12 will work but normally i open it like this it's okay right so now and the second way is if you want to inspect this element or this element just go there right click on it and inspect that is one way it will take you there or click on this button this first button the moment it turns blue you can take this button to that element whatever you want to target so for example here this label you were targeting so you reached here uh, okay. okay so if we press somewhere and if you want to know which one is that so we need to yeah. go there and press so. yeah see login so either you click this one and take it to login and click it will take you there or go to that element and inspect to see the register yeah okay so both the both the ways are fine now this is called as dom document object model people call it as doc dormitory also okay so if yeah. someone will say how you search elements in dom it is nothing but dormitory okay yeah now click here somewhere in the dom and then control f control f or uh, command f like you have to open this search window that is important yeah. okay control f control f okay yeah now how to write an address now there are two ways to write your address for example um suppose i have to go from here to australia okay and in between india to australia there are hundreds of countries are there suppose yeah. now the i have two option either i'll take the direct flight from india to australia and directly to your house wherever you live okay that is one option or the second option is I'll travel each and every country in between and then I'll reach your house. Like I'm, I, I'm not leaving any access point. I'm leaving, I'm, I'm going through all the countries. That is yeah. one way, correct? So when you don't lose any of the element in between from A to B, that is kind of a uh, absolute address or absolute expat. For example, suppose if I have to go to this division and I'm here, I'll travel this also, this also, this also, this also, this also, and then finally I'll reach here. That is kind of a absolute expat. Okay, I'll show you how to find the absolute expat. Right click on this element, inspect. Okay, you got this. Now right click, copy. In copy, copy full expat. Yeah. Okay. And let me paste it here. So the moment I pasted it here, you see this is so lengthy. Yep. It started from HTML. HTML is the very first tag in your DOM, always. Okay, so HTML, then yep. body, then app root. Okay, wherever it can travel, app root, then app home, 
then something app header and then 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 travel 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 and then finally it will reach um your search item okay such a lengthy address see button search button okay so such a lengthy address and if you see um between all the elements there is a single slash not double slash single slash single slash okay whenever you see a single slash that means there is no jump there is no jump jump means you are traveling each and every element to reach your element you are traveling here 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 every element you are not jumping from here to here there can be a shortcut to for me to reach from from here to australia i can directly skip all the countries in between i can directly reach to australia but no yeah. i'm not doing that i'm traveling each and every country in between also so that's why single slash because i'm yeah. going from this to this to this to this to this so when i jump from one location to directly to the second location because i know the address of this location um it is kind of relative and in yeah. that case you will use double like double slash okay now suppose this I is search the battery low the mat mat yeah thank you for that the battery hi akila hi adi you are getting it or you were you were late i think you were on time no no i am i am on but it is in mute after oh, okay. three four minutes i will on okay sure no problem so now let's try and write the address of the search button okay inspect and see if you see here this this is a kind of a button this is called as tag okay your every element cannot be button your this element is a division your this element is a span your this element is something else so in our case now the element which we are working on or we are looking for is a button so the tag is button here okay this is called as tag after that these are attributes whatever is in the key value pair those things are called as attributes so the attribute is type the value is submit attribute is label value is this attribute is class this okay whatever is not in the key value pair that is a text you are getting me yeah i think hmm in java also attributes same like these attributes in java we learned attributes we don't have attributes in java no okay. i don't remember okay no. okay no variables we have variables exactly not attributes okay okay so um so yeah this is tag these are attributes and this is text so now let's see how to write a address now i know that this button can be unique because i don't see any other button which which is having a text search or which is having a label find train trains correct so i can i can give it a try by writing a unique address for it if that works okay otherwise we'll modify it so how to write a address for it i am doing a direct jump to this element right i am not traveling from html then body then this 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 so i'll write double slash double slash is for directly jumping to that element which you are, you want to write address for so this and then button there can be multiple buttons if you see it is saying there are 21 buttons which button you are looking for or which button you want to jump to so now i wrote double slash button after that square bracket okay rule number 3 first rule double slash second tag name third square bracket inside square bracket you will use any of the attribute so if you see for me the attribute is uh type equals to submit so attribute always starts with at the rate type equals to in single slash submit sorry in single quotes submit okay now if you see this is not yeah it's small so now if you see this is not getting detected i mean like it is saying zero of zero that means no element got matched with the address yeah. which you created okay always look for the count now if you see if i remove that s and write small s it got matched it got highlighted that means there is no other element with this address and that's why there is no confusion for my delivery agent if delivery agent will come to and he wants to deliver some product you will not get confused between houses he he can uniquely see that okay this house is of some <coughs> type this house is of some other type so always look for the count your address should be unique okay yeah 
so this is how you write it at the rate because we are using attribute attribute name equals to submit but then make sure that the submit whatever you are value you are writing it should be in single quotes not yeah. in double quotes okay now let's try and find the address of something else suppose this little register button hmm in this case see what i have tab index zero they can be multiple tab index with zero see this one also this one also so i'll not go for this thing this is yeah. not unique i'm not finding it unique now class class also i think ng star inserted ng star inserted so ng star inserted so there are many places in which same class is there i know i'll again not use this i have to make sure that my address should be unique so now yeah. let's try area label so area label is saying this okay let's write slash a type of element it is at the rate area label equals to this now see you see the register is getting highlighted after hovering over this uh, mashed area yeah it means this address yeah. is correct after double slash you mention only a yeah because this is a kind of element right yeah okay you are getting confused with this no this is not connected it is a kind of element this is something different this is one attribute which is not having value this is different See color difference yeah. here. This this is a tag. Light blue color is a tag. You getting this light blue is a tag, not this. Diff, it it is kind of gray, right? So this is not a tag. Yeah, you, you just have to look for tag. You getting my point? See this one. Uh, or let's see. Um, see the span is a tag, not class. So you just have to write this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see now. Mm, from. Let's see the address of this from. You see, it is an input kind of field. Okay. So input. Okay. Now it is saying there are twenty nine input fields. Which one you are talking about? So I am talking about. What happened? Hmm. I'm talking about this field. So input having. Let's see which attribute I can use. Okay, let's use role. See, when I said role equals to search box, it, search box, it is saying there are two elements with role search box. This is one. This is two. Okay, from and to. The, they both are search boxes. So that's okay. So what I'll do? I'll say okay, choose first one. So to tell them how to choose first one, put everything in a bracket, and in square bracket mark as one. So now it will highlight only the first one. Okay, in this way, I have to make the my major target at the end is to make my address unique. My compiler or my uh, agent should not get confused about my address. So there are multiple ways. First, I'll write the simple address. If I still think that there is confusion, then these are the extra thing that I'm adding over it. Yeah. Okay. So this is called as index, index like you are giving index or number to find the address. Now let's yeah. see. Now let me note down what all we are learning here. Mm. Okay, first we learned a normal x path. Okay, then we understood what is absolute and what is relative. Okay, third we understood what is single slash and double slash. Correct? Yeah. Let me know if any of these things you haven't understood. Fourth, we learned how to give index. 
if to make the address unique. Now let's see single attribute you have seen, right? Um, when I was giving these details, every time I was using single attribute, single attribute means role is also there and list is also there and then this is also there. But every time we used only single attribute, either class or yeah. either ID or either uh, maybe role, right? So that is one way. So single attribute you learned. Right address. Now let's see how to use multiple attributes. See here. Mm, let's go to some other page. Suppose this one. Okay. Suppose this is the element for which I have to write an address. Okay. Suppose take take it into consideration that suppose um, while writing the XPath, you found that this element matches with two at two, like this address matches with two addresses or two elements. Correct. Um, I'll show you. Double slash input. Double slash input type equals to text. Suppose that is the attribute you used at the rate type equals to text. text. Okay. Now you see, just by using single attribute, your, your element is matching with 19 elements. So you can use extra element, extra attribute also. So put here and Okay, and then use another attribute and say at the rate, it is of type input, oh, sorry, it is of type text, that is okay. But at the same time, it is having um, placeholder as departure also. Okay, so at the rate placeholder equals to departure. Now you see the unique address. So sometimes you have to use uni uh, multiple attributes also to create your address unique, getting it? Yeah. Okay, so this is multiple address. Multiple attributes, single slash, double slash, single attribute, multiple attribute. Now let's see text, okay? How to make use of text? So many a time it will happen that, um, for example, this. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute. Hmm. Look at this element, okay? Now suppose you want to click on that more button. This more button is here. You want to click on it. And suppose they haven't given you any good attribute. Neither they have given you ID, neither they gave you any kind of good attribute. Even though whatever attribute they have given, like type equals to button, that is also matching with multiple elements. In that case, to make your address unique, you can go for text because you know that there is no other element with the name more or with the text more, correct? So you can yeah. use text also. So in yeah. text, how are you gonna use it? Because there is no attribute. So what you're gonna write at the rate equals to equals to what? So there is a confusion. So let's write it. Double slash, it's a button, right? So button having now. Okay, now see, give me a minute. Hmm. Now, if you see this button is having more as a text and I'm for now ignoring all these things. So just by text, using text, if I have to write the address, you will not use at the rate because it is not an attribute. It is a text. So you will write text 
equals to circular bracket okay after text text equals to no. more okay let's see why it is not working in before after yeah, space yeah. yeah okay now see it got um, detected so in this way you will use a uh, text as one of the so, uh, so hmm. why why don't we use text it's easy right no but what if there are multiple elements which is having text in that case what suppose more here is also available now again one frame coming again more again more again more so yeah if the same text again, then confusion exactly and our major target is to make it unique yeah okay okay so I'm teaching you different ways to make it unique. Now it, it's your choice. Whatever you feels like it is good, uh, you can go with that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there is no like uh, rule, right? We have to use only this one. So no. we can use anything. No rule. You can it's use unique. Anything. Yeah, just to make it unique. To find yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, text you understood. Now let's yeah. see. After text, I can show you. Uh, ID you understood, right? I used your yeah, ID a few minutes before. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's see. Now, there are two methods, okay? One is contains and one is starts with. Okay, now how to use it? Let's see. Give me a minute, let me find some good example here. Let's go to some other website. Um, Uh, RT, uh, mm -hmm. So we can use this line of code in the program. Line of yeah, this this thing right? The address which we are writing. Yeah, yeah we're gonna use it in the program. Without this, you cannot do automation. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah, see this. Suppose I want to go and click on this fashion, but I know that suppose text is not given, or maybe multiple text are present with fashion, so I don't want to use this text. Okay, I'm not even liking the class. I'm not even liking the um, ID because I don't think these things will make my uh, address unique. But I think this href, href, uh, which actually contains the address of, uh, you know, that link. So this href, I think, contains fashion in it and I want to use that. Okay, but there, there are extra contents with it that I don't want to use. So what I'll do, I'll write a okay contains in bracket at the rate contains what see see contains what if you see href is attribute so href one second okay Hmm. See this, how I wrote this text and how it is getting recognized. Okay. I'm saying there is a kind of element in which its attribute href contains anywhere, contains means anywhere, maybe at the start, maybe at the end, maybe in between, anywhere it contains fashion. Okay. So in anywhere in this href's value, if you have fashion, then match it. Okay. Yeah. But here with contains and with starts with, always remember you have to put comma, not equals to. Now there are two two elements which are matching with this. Let's see which two are matching with this. First is this one. Okay, this one, if you see, it is getting highlighted. Second is? Fashion. I don't know which one is second, but that's yeah. okay. Somewhere, somewhere it is getting matched, I think here. 
fashion is here also i think this one is getting matched first is this one second is let's see first is this where it is highlighting it i don't know Okay, let it the be. Whole, that is not whole page. Yeah. Okay, that is not our issue. Okay, so suppose still, if two things are matching, what you can do? Either use multiple attribute or you can use index. You get my point? See this. Now you wrote the correct yeah. address, but still it is matching with two. So what I'll do? I'll use one extra attribute. I'll say okay, contains h f equals to fashion. And add uh, text equals to okay. In this way, it will not work. One second. Working. So when we use and we have hmm. to use the two texts or not two attributes. No, it's not a compulsion. You can use text also. You can use attribute also. Whatever, like. Okay. okay. So, but this one is not working. But let it be. The point here is I wanted to teach you contents. Okay, if you understood this one, then ignore this one for now. Don't get confused for now. Mm, okay. And later on, I'll make sure that I'll make it unique by giving index. Okay. This is how I'll write the address for this. Getting it? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, one mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. So before, when, can you go to IRCTC? Yeah. So, so what is href? It's a it's attribute. A, you ever saw a website? See, after this main website, after this main website, this thing is href. Hypertext uh, reference. Uh, it's a short form for one second. Href full form. Ghref. <laughs> Hypertext reference, yeah. See, hypertext reference. So it is nothing but it gives you a reference where you are leading to. If you want to see, I'll show you. Um, okay, where were we on Amazon, right? Okay, see this. Uh, if I click on this thing, okay. You see this? This thing? This thing is same as this thing. Where is it? IE, UFT8 node. This and this is same. Yep. So kind of address, extra address of that element. No, uh, my question like for contains, we have to use only those ones. No, anything. You can use anything which is having a big amount of value for that attribute. You can use contains to fetch that data from that attribute. Let me show you. In this case, we, I found href. Suppose... Um, Suppose in this case, okay, I want to click on this, this icon. Now, if you see, in this case, I think, okay, oh my goodness. Um, women basic top, let's inspect it. Now see, in this case, I think text is women's basic top and the class is something. Suppose my class contains some details, okay, some good details. Here it is written red top or something yeah. if i want to use that red top text to make my address unique i'll choose class i'll say okay a span which contains at the red class equals to red top uh, where it's showing red top not showing i'm just giving you an example uh -huh. okay? okay suppose in this case it is showing some instruction style whatever suppose i want to use this one i'll say division contains class this thing 
contains means it will verify or well, let's say women's basic talk okay this is text i don't want to read the entire text this is kind of big for me it is kind of lengthy suppose i just want to read um, basic talk so in that case i'll write okay span which contains text equals to basic talk so, so anyway, can you write can you write down yeah sure contains you see one of one this one is matching this is getting highlighted also here see yeah getting it so the point here is if you have something very lengthy okay if the value of any attribute is very lengthy but in that value there is some good information which can make your address unique and to fetch that information you can use contains and whatever you want to match that you will write here yeah. it can be href it can be id it can be see here also id is very uh, not so good like it is not uh, readable so you will just read pop over you don't want to read this 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 you just want to read pop over so you'll change it here at the id equals to pop over yeah okay so this is how you use contains but contains is like in the entire text it will look for that content element okay for example was jockey okay so here if you see what is it again href right okay take it in as an example so you're saying span class this is whatever contains text jockey okay but it can be in the entire thing anywhere maybe it start at the end wherever jockey can be anywhere okay from start to end or oh, let's see this element pre delivery yeah see this one is a good example now if you see the text is very big i cannot write such a big text in my code so what i'll make sure i'll just i'm just looking for free delivery i know that free delivery is will make my address unique but it is at the start then also with contains it will match if it is at the end then also it will match okay in case of contains now see let me write xpath of it span right span contains text equals to this to many free delivery let's see maybe all capital letters free no it's we gave text here it's a class the class oh no it's right span okay there are 43 elements which is showing yeah. free delivery free delivery free delivery okay but now what i want i want not only contains suppose i want every element which starts with free delivery in that case i'll write starts with okay you see this again 43 i match it because there are 43 element whose text is starting with free delivery you getting my point yeah yeah okay if i change it to something else it will not match if i say uh, what was the last thing free delivery category category right yeah category no now again nothing is matching category was in small letters or capital letters c small wow. yeah see nothing is matching but because it is looking for starting text if starting yeah. text is not category it will not match but if i'll change it to contains okay it will match because contains looks for anywhere starts with looks for only for starting mm -hmm. getting my point yeah so these are two methods that you can use to make your address let me think text is done contains starts with single attribute multiple attribute index single slash double slash absolute relative normal xpath okay now there and i'm teaching you this today because this thing needs lots and lots of practice lots and lots of if you will do mistakes here if you will not be able to uh, find the unique address for your element trust me 
uh, you will not be able to do any action on that website using automation. Of course, right? If you can't detect any element, how can you make uh, or do any action on it? Simple. Yeah. So that's why I'm teaching you this so that in remaining time on daily basis, you will practice and you will ask me questions related to this. Now, let's see advanced expats now. These were the simple expats. Now see advanced expats. Now look at this family structure, okay? Open any website, you will get it. Now look at this. Okay, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, look at this element. Now, we have to understand this family structure. Now, why we have to understand this? For that, see this. Um, okay, let me take some simple website now. This is kind of tough website. Tell me some simple websites. Mm. Gmail is not actually it's a website, but still. Um, okay. Just a Google page. I have one question now. Mm -hmm. How do we know it's a website and it is not a website? Everything with that starts for which you enter a URL. That's a website. Okay. Okay, otherwise you will download the app and you will use it, right? So, come on, Arti. Um, how can you not find any website, simple website? Okay, let's take this one. Okay, now. Now, many a time it happens that your element, whatever you are targeting, suppose you are targeting this login button. And let me take my website only. These all websites are very difficult to explain actually. Okay. Suppose this is your element. This is your website. Okay. On this website, you wanted to do or write something in permanent address. Okay. You wanted to write something in permanent address. Now let me make it to the left side for some time because I want to show you something. You wanted to write something in permanent address. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, now if you see, uh, let's please go on mute. Now if you see every element is having some relationship with the previous element or the next element. Okay, now that relationship we have to understand. For example, now suppose I want to write something in the permanent address, but I'm not finding any good ID or any class. Right now you can see it, but suppose it is not there. For example, look at this div. It is just having one class, nothing else. So how can I write address for that? So difficult, right? Similarly, um, take an example. Suppose this iframe. I'm not having any good detail, you know, no, neither a detail name, nor an ID, nor a class, nothing. There's nothing I have related to this element. So in this case, what we can do, we can travel. Suppose you want to go to your um, grandfather's house, but you never met him. So what you'll do, you will go to your parent, your parent will give you address of your grandfather and then you can go to your grandfather, right? So you need some solid stage from where you can start, okay? What I mean by that, um, let's see.
Suppose you want to go to this div and imagine this. Okay, look at this div. This div is not having good good details. Neither a better class. Class is also very lengthy. Not ID, no class, no text, nothing. I want to reach here, but I don't have any details to reach to this element. Correct. So what I can do? Either I can ask to my ancestors, or I can ask to my childrens. Okay, if I am at this node, I can ask to my childrens, or I can ask to my ancestors, maybe my parent or grandparent. That okay? How to reach to this element? Now look at this element, this diagram first. If you are here, if you are here, from here, if you want to travel here, you either have to travel in the upside direction, or you have to travel in a downward direction, right? Now, if you want to meet one of your cousin who belongs to, or maybe your uncle's uncle, uncle's uncle, and then to that cousin comes into picture. Suppose you want to meet to that cousin, you cannot directly jump to that cousin. You have to travel. You have to first call your father. Your father will call to that uncle, and that uncle will make sure that he will ask his son to talk to you. So that relationship should be there. Suppose if you are here, you cannot jump to these people. They are your neighbors. I mean, like. either you travel this much or you travel like this you have options now try and understand this according to um dom okay and these things are called as um uh, selenium axes okay a x e s you guys getting me yeah so how to use selenium axes let me show you suppose right now you are here you are trying to enter um Suppose female, okay. Suppose you are at this label where gender radio button two, you are here. From here, you want to go and enter your first name, okay. So let's see. Label you have written. Uh, okay. Let's start reverse. From name, we will go to. Female here. So I'll say okay. ID equals to first name label. At the rate ID equals to first name. Okay, but it's not working. Label. Oh, it's not label. It's input. Okay. Now suppose you are here. From here you want to reach to this female one. Okay. Give me give me a minute, guys. from this input i want to go to this female so i'll check for the relationship between this female and this input now see this now see female radio button is here okay it's a input field female radio button is here and right now i'm here so from here if i directly want to jump here i cannot why see i'm already here from here i want to jump so double slash and i'm saying uh, id equals to gender radio 2 input you see it is not reaching here even though your address is same i'm like correct from here I sh you should have jumped here right because you are giving the correct address but you are not able to do it because there is no relationship there is no relationship between these two these two so to create a relationship between these two what i can do i can connect them by using some extra details for example i can say okay i am input okay i am at input let me remove this for now i am here okay 
I know that I am not connected with this, but my father, my father and this element and this element, these three elements are sibling to each other because they have a common parent. See these four elements, if you see one, one, two, three and four. These four elements is having a single parent element, which is this div. You guys getting my point? Yeah. Yeah. So for this div, these four are children's. So now yeah. where am I? Uh, mm -hmm. How do you know like? How? By when seeing I, that. Yeah, by seeing this these arrows. So if these arrows are on same line, that means they are sibling to each other. Okay. The immediate above one is a parent. After that, everything is an ancestor. Okay, yeah. same in a reverse direction. So right now I am I am at I am at the second child of this div. Right, I am here. Yeah. So from here I can go to my parent. I can yeah. go to my parent. So parent scope is from here to here. See, this this closure is nothing but for this div. Now see, I'll say single slash parent. What happened? Input now. No, she was small. Parent. Single slash, which type of parent I'm looking for? I'm looking for diff type kind of parent, right? So I was here. From here, I try to reach to my parent. And my parent is of type div. So I'll write, you see, one of one got detected. Oh, sorry, my mistake. We were here, right? We were here. So for this element, this is parent. For these elements, the, this is parent. Let's try and understand it. If you see, arrow, arrow, arrow. Okay, wherever you collapse the arrow and whatever gets hidden for all those elements, this is parent because after collapsing this, these things are getting hidden. So right now I was here. This is getting hidden between this div, right? This div. That means this div is a parent. So when I wrote input fields where the ID is first name for this input field, who is parent? This one. Correct. So I set slash parent colon colon div slash parent means immediate parent whose type is div, which is this one. Okay. Now I reached here from here where I want to reach. I want to reach form. Okay. Because I know like within this form, within this form only I have this gender too. What I'll do, I'll try to reach here to the form. So what I'll do, I'll write single slash. Okay ancestor colon colon which type of ancestor form type of ancestor you saw this i reached here so these keywords are nothing but selenium axis a x e s so in this way you have various selenium axis okay so we learn one by one first thing here you understood parent one guys it's kind of difficult i know but are you guys getting it what we are doing here uh, hmm. see this here so first input id first name and then hmm. parent dip yeah where is it one second it was somewhere here right yeah you were here from here you reached to your ancestor you could have directly reached to your ancestor that is also okay this will also work see because when you are here, this is your parent, everything else is your ancestor. So you said, okay, from here, directly reach to my ancestor, which is of type form. No, uh, first input at the rate ID first name. Uh, hmm. Where is that? This one. But, okay, input, it's not ID, right? Oh, hmm. oh there's two placeholder also first. Hmm. Okay, this one. And then the parent is DIV. Correct. And then, oh. Everything else is ancestor. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I, I traveled towards upside. Why? Because I know if I'll reach form, everything is inside form. You see, when I collapsed it, everything is inside form. The scope of form is very big. And in that scope, somewhere I get the gender radio too. So I reached to this level. From here, what I'll do? Now I'll write double slash. You removed the parent 
that's uh, okay right you can directly okay. reach to your grandfather father also there is no need there is no compulsion to travel to each and every element in between if you know your grandfather But, directly jump to mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah. yeah yeah if you know you can of directly course. jump because i had something good here and i knew that there cannot be any other element with that tag form i directly jumped to it i said okay i need some ancestor my ancestor who is of type form and once i reach there i'm looking for this input field field so there are see under that form there are hundreds of input field but which one i want i want where the name or id is gender to at the read id equals to gender to you see now i can easily reach it earlier we were writing this and this same thing we were writing but we were not able to reach because this was out of scope for this input field but this thing is not out of scope for my ancestor like my grandfather has so much of big network that he knows all the uncles all aunties all relatives that he can easily make sure that i'll reach being a grandchild i can reach to this grandchild of some someone else's grandchild because my grandfather is having so much of network big network you getting my point uh, yeah confusion here first wherever you are from there try to reach to one solid platform who so can the help ID, the first id is radio button and the gender radio to is uh, the text field. Radio no one second no You were here. From here, you were trying to reach here, female. Okay. okay. But then, for this element, this is out of reach. But if this element reaches the entire form, form that means at top level, if you can reach here top level, from that top level, you can directly jump to female. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Oh, uh, slowly you will understand. One second. now for now just focus on dom okay no need of looking at the uh, website now suppose you are here now okay suppose you are here yeah. now you see this tag is starting from here this tag is starting from here that means these two are sibling to each Same. other sibling because they both have common parent how to get to know if this is parent for both collapse it if your input and label both the things are getting hidden that means this div is having both the things or you can see this see this uh, line also it is showing that okay this div started here but under this div you have input and label both and this is a closure of this div yeah. getting me look at this this div started here this input and this label is inside this div so when you collapse it that is getting hidden that is getting hidden that means this div is a parent of this and this both that means these two are together sibling to each other so what i'll do i'm already here right i'm already here i'll write slash following siblings which type of sibling i'm looking for label type of sibling sibling Okay, one second, guys. Following sibling, hmm. See this. I was here. I reached to my sibling, which is of type label. You getting me? One of one got detected. Guys, you understanding it, or is it going too tough for you all? I'll change the example then. So, you just have to create a relationship. Mm -hmm. So if there is uh, here, there is only one sibling. Hmm. in our case there is only one sibling of type label so if you see there is only one sibling your yeah. div is ending here right so from start to end you have only two sibling these are th these people are not your sibling they are out of your scope now no no no, no. Uh, because the arrow is showing only one in in under the class div class there is mm -hmm. only one label title for gender radio yeah so that's why one yeah. Yeah, the input name is not sibling, right? 
that is no, it the is class. it is from there we traveled right we traveled see we are getting confused here we were here okay let me remove it we were here first you reached this like you reached your someone reached your sister and then that sister made sure that she'll she'll reach out to you in that case see you were here you reached out to your sibling simple so that's why for that you wrote this that i need my sibling who is following following means younger sibling who came after me for example see this these three are sibling to each other okay right now you are here suppose so this will be preceding sibling this will be following sibling so what you have done you were here you are looking for your sibling because they are at a equal level you are looking for sibling of yours of type label but this is a following sibling because you came first into the world and then this one okay so this is a following sibling to you you guys getting me yes so in this way there are some keywords guys one is parent one is ancestor one is preceding one is uh, following sibling one is preceding sibling and all those words let me show you don't worry you will understand it hmm see either you, you are here right so for you the immediate one is your parent your parent can have multiple childs so the one who came before you is your preceding sibling the one who will come after you will be following sibling you see for this parent this is child this is child this is child but this child came after you this child came before you so this is preceding sibling this is following sibling you are the point of target so if you are the point of target for you this is parent the just the immediate one is parent and everything else is an ancestor so for you this is ancestor not for your parent for you you are the node right self for you they are parent and they are ancestor but for them they are parent okay so if you are currently on this node from this node if you want to travel to this node you will not write slash ancestor you will write slash parent okay you getting me yeah sure just relationship guys how you travel or how you okay okay let's see first you just look at this um um keywords here one second see they have given very good example here if you want to see i'll show you okay follow this yeah these were the keywords i was looking for ancestor okay child is there parent is there preceding is there following is there following sibling is there most of the time we will be using five or six only but I'm just telling you so now how to use this definition you understood the relationship you understood diagram also you understood now let's see let's see one example okay see they are saying they are a division whose class is mammal okay so where are they division whose class is mammal correct they are here you guys can see the diagram right yeah so they are here at division class equals to mammal but they want to know who all are their ancestors okay ancestor div ancestor of type div okay so from here if you see they all are at same level okay yeah. so this should be the parent okay yeah. this should be the parent and this should be the ancestor correct yeah. but at in this case both the things are getting one second guys give me a minute give me a minute
okay sorry guys so yeah so if you see for this element this is parent and this is ancestor okay normally which i taught you but if you'll see the definition of it okay if you see the definition of ancestor to identify the ancestor of an element from the current uh, current node now look at the definition of it okay mm. it indicates all the ancestor relative to the correct current node okay also reaching up to the root node actually when you see a car okay one minute ancestor actually includes your parent and grandparent and their grandparent like in everything which is above you it takes everything unless you specifically ask for parent you getting my point like yeah. if you'll specifically say go to my parent then only it will not consider your parent as ancestor but if you'll say go to my ancestors directly it will consider your parent also as ancestor and yep. that's why that's why when this guy was writing for ancestor this guy was writing okay i need all the ancestor of type div if your parent is also of type div it will consider that one also yeah okay, you guys getting me uh, they won't be confusion because... yeah they will not be they will not be because you are specifically not writing parent here right so if if you directly write ancestor it will take parent also the, everything above you will be your ancestor in that case okay okay now look but at this mm -hmm. in the in the uh, for first div there is animal and then second div there is uh, what yeah is? whatever it is mm -hmm. yeah yeah so so you have to give index i got your question there you have to give index for example here you will write okay ancestor div so now it will match with two records this one yeah. also this one also so put everything in a bracket and put one now it will reach to this one because it travels from bottom to upside so it will travel to this one if you say two then it will travel here from here then you can travel to something else so why don't we go directly to two we can't that also you can yeah, of course you can index if i want the uh, first one then see i'll show you suppose i am here at span login okay control f okay suppose i am here i am saying i need all my ancestors yeah ancestor who is type div so it is saying three so first one is this container second is row third is whatever this div i can directly yeah. go to three also yeah you see? so if i if i want especially yeah. to parent so i need to mention parent dot dot div no not, no no need to give div no you have to see this is the syntax this is the syntax slash whatever selenium access you want to use and then which type of ancestor you are looking for because there can be hundreds of ancestor if i yeah. don't write div here i have to put star if i say star star means all so see it is taking html also it will take um, body also it will take header also it will take header again then div and then div but i don't want that uh, bulky thing i I'll, I'll say only div kind of ancestor i want like female ancestor i want I don't want male ancestors, and this way I'm just sorting it out, making it simple for so me. It will go to top. Yeah. Exactly, it will take everything. So if you see now, look, yeah, let me show you. So you are right now here, and yeah. the second ancestor is this row. Okay, yeah. the third ancestor is this div, and you are right now here. Yeah. Okay, login. So you can travel. You can say, okay, I want the very first ancestor. Then you will say one, so you will reach here, because for you the travel is starting from bottom to up, bottom to up. So the very first ancestor of you is this one, your grandfather. Then your grandfather's grandfather is the above one. So yeah, so two, so this one. Yeah. Then their grandfather's father is third one, this one. Yeah. Continue. Okay. Yeah. So in this way. you have to use these axes so don't worry at first it looks very difficult but when once you will start practicing it you will understand it now suppose you reached here 
Suppose you reach to your ancestor who is container. So for this container, who is child? Who is child for this grandfather? My great, 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 great grandfather is this. So for them, who is their children? These people, right? These people are their children. Why? Because if you collapse it, everything is getting hidden. So whatever is getting hidden is children. So what I'll write? Slash child colon colon what kind of child i am looking for div kind of child you see it reached here now for this div all these are children so let's see how many childs i have for this div i'll say child colon colon what kind of child i'm looking for i'm right now here right so this is my child this is my child and yeah okay only two childs i have so suppose if i write span kind of child i want it will give me zero because there is no child i have who is female all my children are male. So it is not giving me span kind of children. If I'll write div here, it will give me two. One is this one. One is this one. Both of them are my children. You getting my point? Understanding it? Yes. Now suppose I am here. Now from here I want uh, to reach to this I. Suppose or maybe to the span. So the span for me is not my child. Span for me is my descendant, reverse of ancestor. So I'll write D S C N D N T descendant of type span. You see, there is one descendant here, second here, third somewhere here, and then fourth. So there are multiple grandchildren who is of type um, span. Yeah. Okay. Now suppose I am here, fourth, right? I'll put four here. Okay. Index. Yeah, what happened here? Span of type 1. Okay, suppose I reached here. Menu icon. Okay. From here, if I want to reach to some parent element, then I'll say, okay, I need a parent element who is of type div. Not working. Why? Parent. Where am I right now? Menu item. Menu item. One second. Let's see. Okay, I'm here. For me, my parent is A. So I'll say. See, I reached here. So it is yeah. telling you there are two parents. How can be two parents? One second. One is here. One okay. Here, no, there are not two parents for the same element, but this X path is matching with two elements in that they can be multiple families who can have same number of or same type of div type of child right so it is matching with two families structure that's why two again we need to give index exactly again you have to give index or give some extra attributes suppose you reached here you don't want to give index but you know that your family name is search model so you can use that you can say okay whatever a having uh href what we, we are looking for the first one right this one uh, the java avoid Search box, search mm -hmm. box one, right? No, 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 the next one. This one? No, the middle one. No, the search. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we yeah, were here. One. We yeah. were here. From here, we traveled to some other element so that we can travel to some other element. So now I reached here, right? From here, I can reach to this search. So how to reach to this search? I can say child or I can directly say double slash span having text equals to search. See, I reached here. Yeah. Okay. So in this way, you guys have to travel. Okay. There is no need of traveling such a lengthy path, but then I'm, I just taught you directly. So you can write it like this also. See, Yeah. this is also okay. So child to parent or child to ancestor. Or maybe oh. ancestor to sibling, sibling to proceeding sibling, so whatever. So there are these many. Um... And one more question, mm -hmm. now. So why we need this? Because sometimes your elements will not have good attributes. For example, this span. This span is having only search, nothing else. So in that case, for you to write the address of any element is very difficult. For example, look at this div. Okay. Suppose your uh, one of the cousin is neither having a unique name, neither having any kind of, um, you know, 
good details about him he does not even have a phone number he does not even have some you know features so that you can explain okay the tall cousin or the fat cousin it is that person is not having any unique details for himself so what you'll do you will travel you will say okay you know that grandfather of mine who lives in mumbai that grandfather is having two children that second uncle of mine is having a children like three children that third children is my cousin in this way you will travel in this way you will explain it right because that cousin was not having any unique details about it so the same happens with the elements that your element will not have any unique details about uh, uh, about that element using which you can create a address of it and that's why you combine multiple details about your relatives and then you reach to that element okay okay so either you travel up like you reach to your grandfather and you reach to some of the cousin or you travel to your siblings then you travel or you then maybe your sibling is having some friend and then that friend is having their grandfather who actually is a brother of your grandfather whatever so in this way you can yeah. travel but but uh, when you open the website can mm-hmm. you show me the website yeah. you mentioned before from from the button not you no know, what what were you call from that, text to hmm. the button no ha huh? the hypertext or yeah hypertext hyper- correct correct ha huh? href so you showed me from from text uh, field to button field so for ex- you said example like you want to jump from here to here but oh, for this one sorry. yeah for for this one hmm you showing if you want to find uh, find the attribute mm. so we use the parent and ancestor mm. thing but in the in the website you showed me can you open the website uh, website the third one i think yeah where is the text field one second let's take some dumb, simple websites hmm Can yeah first name to female right mm. Mm. so for that we use these things yeah if you think uh, so that if you think so that this female okay suppose this female is not having any good details what you will do if you are not that powerful you will you know that your father is powerful man you will call your father and then your father will do something for you okay or you will call your siblings who is powerful like maybe they are in police so they you will call them and they'll work for you because you don't have that much of power so in the same way not only for this element any element which does not have any good attributes attached with it for example look at this thing this is having just class and that is such a boring class you know this is kind of not unique this is matching with the above one also so in that case i'll not write the address of this female button just by using the class it will create confusion for my agent so what i'll do i'll not write my address like that i'll write my address like i have one parent you know that police officer whose id is this i am child of that police officer so you come to that person so everyone will be aware of that because you don't have any details of yours which is kind of will make you unique you will take help of your relatives you will okay. see you know my uncle is in bollywood that bollywood person yeah i am the second child of uh, his 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 father maybe whatever okay so you are creating your address like by taking the help of some strong members in your family yeah. okay because you cannot or you don't have any of yours any you know any details of yours which is kind of strong and will, will make your address unique you are taking help of either your siblings either your ancestor or your grandfathers yeah getting my point yeah okay so today we learned so many things and i taught you because there is weekend so that you guys can practice so in selenium access you have parent child ancestor um descendant following sibling next no self sibling and a uh, preceding sibling practice it 
day on daily basis for at least half an hour i'm telling you you will face problem with this for sure okay parent child and sister descendant following sibling preceding sibling this much should be enough for you okay don't go for all those 12 13 i think there are 17 or something yeah don't go for all these 13 okay just go for ancestor child descendant following sibling go, don't go for following as well uh, parent and preceding also and preceding sibling also okay preceding and ancestor i hope i added both preceding and ancestor look at the difference between preceding and ancestor okay yeah. preceding mill means the this indicates all the notes that appear before your contacts note means current note suppose you are on submit note before that everything okay but Ancestor is relative to your con con current node. That means, see, I'll show you the difference between ancestor and preceding. Okay, see this. Um, look at this. Suppose you are at this input field. ID equals to gender radio 2. Okay, suppose you are here and you are saying you need all the ancestor of type div. Yeah. Okay, so nine, nine ancestors are there. If yeah. I just remove this and I'll say preceding, P-R-E-C-D, I hope spelling is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, single C. Single B. Yeah, so see everything, it is taking everything whether you have relationship or not with them, everything who comes before you. So 64. If I uh, put the index one, so it may. Whatever, first. I mean, like, look at the count difference. Preceding is, um, even your uh, neighbor's grandfather is your preceding. Anyone who is coming before you or who is before you is preceding. Maybe it belongs to your, there is no relationship between you and that div. That's why 64. So your neighbor's grandfather is not connected with you, right? But still, they are older to you. So they are your preceding. Yeah. But when you say ancestor, there is a relationship between you and these nine people. They are your either grandparent or they are great grandparent or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So when there is a relationship, nine count. When there is no relationship, every everyone will come there. Every div. In your surrounding, if you live in one society, every grandfather is your preceding. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. Hmm. So, descendant, here I'll add preceding also. So, if you are learning about preceding, you should learn about preceding. P-R-E-C. P-R-E-C. E-C-E. -E. C P R E C E. C E. -E. Yeah, that's it. Preceding, okay. Preceding, then you should learn about following also following. reverse of it. Okay, anyone yeah. who is coming after you, any any childrens in your society is your following. Yeah. They are, they can or cannot be your brother or sister. Okay. Yeah. So in this way, you write the address of elements. Okay. Um, and it is complicated. I know. First. 10 15 days you will find it very difficult but later on with practice you will understand it yeah cool so please mm -hmm. practice this everything is there first we will try with normal expats then we'll go for advanced expat and these are called as selenium x's x is a x is okay so in interviews they ask you that how you created the expat oh which format you follow most and why you follow Selenium Access, then you can say it makes our uh, address robust. So tomorrow, if anything changes um, uh, on website, still this address is, does not change. Okay. So, yeah. So practice this. This is difficult. Let me know if you have any questions there. Arti? Mm. Yes, did you regarding how we open all this like a notepad in the website and everything yeah everything everything is in recording 
from starting okay, okay? don't worry yeah. that, and we can just to open in the website uh, come again akila notepad how you are using notepad in your uh... oh yeah this one this one is like op- uh, online notepad this is online, online notepad yeah okay. don't worry about this you anyways you want to have it in your recording right so you can follow it take the screenshot of it and then follow it and okay. everything is on internet don't worry okay okay just make sure when you open any website take any website for uh, whatever you like okay i like this one because it contains radio buttons and all take any website of your choice just right click on that website and inspect the moment you inspect it you will get this and to write the x path suppose you don't have it let me cancel it click anywhere in your dom and then control f the moment you write control f you will get this search box and this search box is important to write any address okay you can write your address here don't write it okay i'll show you one more thing people write it here in the filter and they say ma'am address is not coming don't write it here okay make sure you write it here find by find by exact x path okay this is where you should write your address getting me yeah yeah what address we need to write here whatever we learned today okay okay not all those things you will write here okay not in filter okay yeah not in filter so start writing x paths here with double slash or single slash that is your choice mm mm-hmm. depending on what kind of address you are writing either relative or absolute mm-hmm. okay okay So now uh think about all these things and tell me which one you think I should repeat once again like except the selenium axis because uh they are difficult you will take time to understand it but tell me about these things are you okay with these experts need practice or speak otherwise yeah, can't on daily basis that i'm telling you up front here that we practice also to... we will forget Of no you have to i am telling you within 5 days you will forget everything about java also if you not practice trust mm-hmm. me on that mm-hmm. practice in coding if you want to come into it industry coding is must and coding needs an hours for practice and one more thing here let me stop recording here